Your team is picking. Welcome, my guest. Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to have a very interesting match, especially the ending which nobody was expecting. Here I will be playing as Karina. She is a very strong jungler against certain team composition, especially against those heroes that rely on their basic attacks. But before we continue, a quick shout out to the amazing sponsor of this video. Today I want to tell you about how you can do a perfect stream without any expensive equipment. I have for you Turnip. Turnip is a mobile live streaming app, which you can stream at 1080p for free. You can stream on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, or any custom platform together. Design your stream in your style, upload custom thumbnail, add facecam, and set animated overlays. Only with Turnip, you can stream with teammates and game sound. Read the live chat, get donation, and subscribe with alerts right on the app. Start streaming today, download Turnip, link in the description. I guess somebody underestimated Kimi's early game damage. Tigra is in a great position to engage the enemies. We gotta follow up. What a fun start. They want more blood, but they just too much. Tigra's HP is already very low. There's a risk that's not worth it. We got super baited, but honestly, it was quite obvious. I should have known better.
Artigo is making some godly setups. I might actually play him next if nobody on my team wants to play tank. My intuition was telling me that they are probably coming to the top lane. And I'm just going to wait in the bush and wait for the right timing to engage. They are being too thirsty for a Bane's knot. He actually managed to get a kill despite being at 1v2. Now I'm inspired to play him as well. There are too many heroes that I want to play next. What should I do? Even if he somehow managed to steal the turtle, I don't think trading the life of the jungler for the turtle is that worth it, especially if we can steal the rest of the jungle. That's why having a lot of HP as the core is amazing for the bloody retribution. A lot of Karina's players give the Clock of Destiny, but I personally like building it because it just gives a lot of HP and magic power. When playing as Karina, it's important to know her limits and assess the situation. A lot of times, you gotta keep going back and forth and wait for an opening before going all in. Just a few matches earlier, I had a Karina jungler in my team and she just kept going first into the battlefield and then just kept dying right away. Although it seems like we are way ahead, I didn't feel like the game was already in the back, especially by seeing how their main DPS just keeps split pushing and getting lots of farm. We are starting to throw little by little. Our turret has 
I was eager to get that mania from Nana, but then I remembered that I saw Silon split pushing top. Unfortunately, I had to play smart. He thinks the game is pretty over already. Little does he know. Where did Kimi go? Well, just exactly what I was hoping for. Now the game just got a lot more interesting. Our brain is trying to backdoor and end the game. Nice try though. Okay, we are actually throwing hard now. One more of this and we might not have another chance. Let's see if I can kill their Kimi. Of course I threw intentionally, because I saw my teammates doing the same, so I wanted to join the party as well. Smiley face. Well, time to focus a little bit more. It wouldn't be wise to give them any more freebies. It seems like they are nowhere near the Lord, so we can just kill it ASAP and then defend the other lanes. t should not go for their tank first anymore. Our priority should be their Kimi. Launch attack! 
Oof, that was close, but what a great ult by Tigro. We should be able to get the lore before they all respawn. This is the second attempt to end the game by Bane, but it's okay, he bought us enough time to finish the Lord. t should just have backed off though, there's no need for him to die here. What a godly bane, you know what they say, the third time is the charm. Victory! It reminds me of what I did just a few matches prior. This is one of the most painful ways to lose the game. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing.